and the oil age will not, uh, long, uh, will not end long before the world runs out of oil. And I think uh, this is not to scare you here, but this is actually to appreciate the visionary thinking of uh, the Council of Dubai to hold this conference here and think about the energy uh, aspect of the future. Now, what are the mega trends which we are talking about? We heard already uh, from the previous speaker that we are going into an energy, electrical energy age, rising energy consumption, especially rising energy consumption from uh, uh, electrical sources. There's an urgent need for cleaner energy generation. And it's not just after Fukushima, there's more discussion on that. I think it is already a trend for the last years. CO2 reduction. Uh, and the large scale. And uh, with that, we have overall an increased amount of energy because of the growing population, because of emerging countries like China and India, and we at the same time need to grow our share of renewable okay. resources. Now, what does that mean for the grids? And I think that's how we come to the smaller grids. The grids of today are very linear. That generation follows the load. If you need more energy, electrical energy, 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 generation runs off. You have typically large scale power plants. You have actually not a lot of intelligence in the distribution grid, in the grid, which is actually putting uh, uh, energy into the final consumption, like building like the And actually, there's also. If there is generation and distribution grid, for example in Germany we have a lot of solar already, there is no possibility to influence this generation centrally and control it. So the, the grid is actually at the moment not really smart, the grid is actually in the area of the distribution, not a light line spot for the distribution. This needs to change, this needs to change into a much faster. Now, what how to be smart grid of the future? Smart grid is a word everybody is using. Everybody is going to buy something. I've always tried to say smart grid you cannot buy by the kilogram. Smart grid, as the previous speaker said, is more a journey. A journey through the future where the grids are getting much more intelligent. What does it mean? Well, first of all, that means that consumption will follow generation because generation will fluctuate, will fluctuate to the wind and the sun. But there shouldn't be a loss of quality for the end user. We as customers, as consumers, larger chemical units, water treatment, these kind of things which have a certain uh, um, possibility to be shifted without loss of quality of services. These software packages, these IT programs for demand response are very simple. The third one is smart charging. The electrical car of the future will be a load, a manageable load, which needs to be charged, of course, but the charging time can be, of course, intelligently chosen. But secondly, it will also be a battery, a storage, which can, which can feed back energy, electrical energy, to the grid. Times will come soon. We have already a prototype running with our charging stations have bidirectional charging possibility. Uh, it's also important that electrical mobility will not only be electric, but it will also be integrated in fleet management and new ways of transportation of the future, so that it's, it's becoming itself more efficient than the transportation of today.